That's why we should have a lesson in our own houses. We should not only wait for Sheikh Muhammad. No. We should have also our own plan. Yes, we benefit from him, inshallah wa ta'ala. We try to come to the lectures. We try to come to the conferences. The effort that the, 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 the brothers in the masjid are doing for you, alhamdulillah, you benefit from that. But also you have your own halaqa in your home. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والذاريات ذروا فالحاملات وقرا فالجاريات يسرا فالمقسمات أمرا إنما توعدون لصادق وإن الدين لواقع والسماء ذات الحبك إنكم لفي قول مختلف يؤفك عنه من أفك قتل الخراسون الذين هم في غمرة ساهون يسألون أيان يوم الدين يومهم على النار يفتنون ذوقوا فتنتكم هذا الذي كنتم به تستعجلون إن المتقين في جنات وعيون آخذين ما آتاهم ربهم إنهم كانوا قبل ذلك محسنين كانوا قليلا من الليل ما يهجعون وبالأسحار هم يستغفرون وفي أموالهم حق للسائل والمحروم وفي الأرض آيات للموقنين وفي أنفسكم أفلا تبصرون وفي السماء رزقكم وما توعدون فورب السماء والأرض إنه لحق مثل ما أنكم تنطقون هل أتاك حديث ضيف إبراهيم المكرمين إذ دخلوا عليه فقالوا سلاما قال سلام قوم منكرون فراغ إلى أهله فجاء بعجل سمين فقربه إليهم قال ألا تأكلون فأوجس منهم خيفة قالوا لا تخف وبشروه بغلام عليم فأقبلت امرأته في صرة فصكت وجهها وقالت عجوز عقيم قالوا كذلك قال ربك إنه هو الحكيم العليم قال فما خطبكم أيها المرسلون قالوا إنا أرسلنا إلى قوم مجرمين لنرسل عليهم حجارة من طين 
مسومة عند ربك للمسرفين فأخرجنا من كان فيها من المؤمنين فما وجدنا فيها غير بيت من المسلمين وتركنا فيها آية للذين يخافون العذاب الأليم وفي موسى إذ أرسلناه إلى فرعون بسلطان مبين فتولى بركنه وقال ساحر أو مجنون فأخذناه وجنوده فنبذناهم في اليم وهو منين وفي عاد إذ أرسلنا عليهم الريح العقيم ما تذر من شيء أتت عليه إلا جعلته كرميم وفي ثمود إذ قيل لهم تمتعوا حتى حين فعتوا عن أمر ربهم فأخذتهم الصاعقة وهم ينظرون فما استطاعوا من قيام وما كانوا منتصرين وقوم نوح من قبل إنهم كانوا قوما فاسقين والسماء بنيناها بأيد وإنا لموسعون والأرض فرشناها فنعم الماهدون ومن كل شيء خلقنا زوجين لعلكم تذكرون ففروا إلى الله إني لكم منه نذير مبين لا تجعلوا مع الله إلها آخر إني لكم منه نذير مبين كذلك ما أتى الذين من قبلهم من رسول إلا قالوا ساحر أو مجنون أتواصوا به بل هم قوم طاغون فتول عنهم فما أنت بملوم وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون ما أريد منهم من رزق وما أريد أن يطعمون إن الله هو الرزاق ذو القوة المتين فإن للذين ظلموا ذنوبا مثل ذنوب أصحابهم فلا يستعجلون فويل للذين كفروا من يومهم الذي يوعدون بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم and الحمد لله this morning uh, we've had the honor to pray behind uh, ما شاء الله الشيخنا الشيخ عبد القادر علي عمب uh, and الحمد لله our fajr reflection and will be done uh, by him uh, this morning, inshallah ta'ala, so we can benefit and enjoy, inshallah ta'ala, the reminder and the fajr reflection of Shaykh. Jazakallah khair. Bismillah walhamdulillah. Salatu wassalam ala rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man ihtada bi huda. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amunu taqullaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amunu taqullaha wa qulu qawlan sadeeda. يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما مارش برازا نيلديز السورة we are going to discuss is the surah that we read in the salah سورة الذاريات
Surah al dhariyat one of the surahs which has been revealed in Mecca, is the Meccan surah. And the Meccan surahs are well known with the short ayat and it talks about the generations and, and the woman before us. And in this surah, we are going to start with the The incident happened between Imam al Mufassirin al Asma'i. He was around Kufa. He was around Kufa. The scholars of those days. Unfortunately, they were not like the scholars of today who sleep straight away after Fajr. They used to go around, they used to go out, they used to keep an eye on the poor people who lived around the city, the suburbs of the city. Imam al Asma'i, he was going around to check in on these people who lived in the suburbs of Kufa. While he was walking around, a Bedouin man came on his camel. And the culture of the Arab, straight away before they ask your name, they ask you about your tribe. The Bedouin man said, which clan are you from? He said, Min al-Asma. The clan of Asma. Then straight he asked him, Antal Asma'i, are you the famous Sheikh and great scholar Al Asma'i, Al Mufassir? He said, Yes. And then he asked him, Do you have any of the Quran? He said, Yes. He said, Read for me. Then he read for him. This surah that we read, Surah Al Dhariyat. Surah Al Dhariyat. He read for him. And he said, The Sheikh read for him with Dhariyat Dharwa, Fal Hamilati Wikara, Fal Jariyat Yusra, Fal Mukasimati Amra, Inna Matu Aduna La Sadiq. He carried on until he reached Everything that you've been promised is the above the above book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your rizq And then he said, stop it there. When he stopped there, he slaughtered his camel. Straight away on the neck, cut the meat into pieces, give it to the poor people who lived in the suburbs of the city. And then he left and he's saying, of his sama irizqukum wa ma tu'adun. Everything you've been promised in Allah's hand, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and your risk is also in, in, in Allah's hand, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he said, Imam al Asma'i, Marrat al Ayyam was sinin. The years and the months gone. So I went for Hajj. He said, I've heard somebody 
whispering behind me, Asma'i, Asma'i, Asma'i. Then I said, I looked around. That Bedouin man. He said, do you have any of the Quran? Same thing. Where? Around the Kaaba, the Tawaf. And then he started for him from the same place. When he reached Then he said Which means in Arabic Zidni Up to here I practice I dealt with it Give me more I'm ready for it and then he said, فَوَرَبِّ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ Allah is worse by himself subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oath, فَوَرَبِّ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ By the name of the Lord of the above, of, of the heavens and earth. إِنَّهُ لَحَقَّ Whatever it's been said, in the, in the beginning of the surah is the truth mithlama annakum tantiqun the way that you have no doubt that you are communicating and talking to each other do we have any doubts about that that we are communicating and we are talking and then the Bedouin man said subhanallah who doubted the words of the Lord and the skies and the earth to force him to swear by himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he said, he fall, become unconscious, and he passed away. Yeah. Fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and understanding Allah's words subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who has the doubt in Allah's words subhanahu wa ta'ala? That everything is in Allah's hands subhanahu wa ta'ala and everything is being written, rizq, the lifespan that we are going to live it is, in, is, in, in, is in Allah's hands subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who has the doubt? And he passed away. That's how the Arabs, they used to understand the words of the Quran. That's why you see there's a big difference between us and them. Us, we can say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. But it doesn't have that strong reflection on us. But Abu Jahl and Abu Lahab, they used to understand when, well, if they say, La ilaha illallah, what does that mean? That's why they refused. They rejected. Yeah. That's why they rejected. Yeah. Rasulullah s.a.w. saying to them, Qulu la ilaha illallah tuflihu. Qulu la ilaha illa tamlikul araba wal ajam. Say la ilaha illallah. You will be the head of, 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 of the Arabs and non-Arabs. But they were saying no. Because they understand what is after that. The matter is not just a word. It's not a lip service. It's understanding. That's, how, that's what we need to understand. When we are hearing Allah's words, subhanahu wa ta'ala, we reflect on it. وَفِي السَّمَاءِ رِزْقُكُمْ وَمَا تُوَعَدُونَ فَوَرَبِّ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ إِنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِثْلَ مَا أَنَّكُمْ تَنْطِقُونَ And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the history of those before us. And their stories. And their stories is not like Shakespeare and uh, other stories and other novels, no. These stories are lessons. Lessons 
need to act upon. هل أتاك حديث ضيف إبراهيم المكرمين؟ What do you know? Do the, did the news come to you about the guests of Ibrahim عليه الصلاة والسلام? The noble guests of Ibrahim إذ دخلوا عليه Allah SWT described for us the whole scene the, the, the angels they came in they said salam قالوا سلاما peace be on you قال سلام in the Arabic they said salama and salam salam the second of the, of, of of the Prophet Ibrahim is deep meaning because it's nakir qala salam qawmun munkarun strangers because imagine your sheikh is here he comes he knows the people who comes for for fajr prayer each and every one of you and he sees people well dressed coming into the masjid not familiar faces he will be shocked I say, where these people they came from and that's what happened with the command of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when Jibreel came the hadith Jibreel that you, you the hadith Umar that you all know Al-Iman Al-Islam Wal-Iman Wal-Ihsan and then Umar describes Rajul, a man Shadid al-Bayad al-Thiyab wearing pure white clothes Shadid al-Sawad al-Sha'ar very black hair and the culture of the Arab it wasn't like the Afro of our boys today it wasn't like that they used to look after it and I always uh, just last this in uh, Friday that was my topic about the youth and the styles and the haircuts and so on your Prophet said in Sunan Abi Dawood man kana lahu sha'arun fal yukrim the one who has a hair should look after it not pushy no you look after it or don't keep hair it's one of the two. Then, very strange, strange faces came in saying salam. Not familiar, not from your locality, not from Manchester. And straight away, Faragha ila ahlihi. Rawagan in Arabic, that means he sneaked gently. And he went, slaughtered, told his family to be cooked quick. And then he brought the food. Big buffalo or he, he brought the meat, well cooked. Come, eat. What did they say? And they said in the Arab culture, if the man comes to your house and he's your guest and you brought him something to eat and he did not his, move his hand that means he meant evil. He meant evil. فَلَمَّا رَأَى أَيْدِيَهُمْ لَا تَصِيُّ لَيْهِمْ نَكِيرَهُمْ وَأَوْجَسَ مِنْهُمْ خِيفَةً When he saw that their hands are not coming forward, he said, uh-uh, the matter is not, is not normal. 
It's not normal. And then they calm him down when they saw that he's frightened because that's the culture, that's the norm. If you invite someone, if, if, if you put something on, on, on the table for someone and he doesn't eat with you, even if you are full, you should touch. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. And then they give him the glad tidings that he's going to have a baby. Just imagine one of our elderly. My uncle. You are telling him you're going to have a little baby. What is he going to say? Uh uh, I've done my bit. It's, 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 it's not my turn. Isn't that right, uncle? I can joke with my uncle because I'm, I'm his uncle. And then he said, and his wife, she was listening to the conversation. فأقبلت امرأته في صرة فصكت وجهها وقالت عجوز حقيم An old lady who has no chance of having children never had any children very old وهذا بعلي شيخة and my man is an old man too even though the situation with men is different even to the last minute, mashallah, they can give it while they spend still uh, working. <coughs> then what happened? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him the matter is not how you want it, it's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants it. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants it. Whenever Allah wants something, inna ma yaqul lahu kun fayakun. And then, after that issue finished and the discussion finished, he said, Why did you come for then? He said, Inna ursilna ila mujirimin. We've been sent to an evil people. Qawmi Lot. The people of Lot. LGBT and today if you, if you are not supporting that eh -eh, you are in big trouble and that's what used to happen also at that time it's the same issue the same scenario is coming back that's why all of us we should not relax Wallahi, whenever I see strong winds, the heat, the less rain, the troubles, I said, uh uh, maybe the time has came. Because Allah Taala said clearly, It's not far away from those who commit the same sin. And now you can see, even so-called Muslims having their websites and having their things and may Allah SWT guide us all then he start arguing with them and they told him Ibrahim calm down this issue has been decreed by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and there is no way back of it And they said, what, what about uh, Lot's family? The believers of, of, of Lot? They said, don't worry. We know who are they. Who is there? In, uh, how many believers are there? And Allah Ta'ala will deal with it. Don't worry about it. And then the, the dealing finished. 
Subhanallah. And Allah Ta'ala talks about Musa. وفي موسى إذا أرسلنا إلى فرعون بسلطان مبين. And the Musa is the prophet that who has the biggest portion of the Quran of the prophets. Quran talks a lot about Musa عليه الصلاة والسلام. Because he was close to us and also has a lot of experience and that's why he when, when, the, when, when he met the, the, our Prophet وسلم, in the heavens on the day of uh, Isra al Mi'raj, he told him about the Salah. Go back. I have more experience in, with, with the people. 50 Salah is too much. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Until Allah made it five. And he told him, Go back. Then Allah Ta'ala spoke to the Prophet وسلم, and he said, it is five and it's fifty in the reward. Get on with it. Allah Ta'ala most merciful. Then Musa and his nation and what happened. And then Ad and then Thamud. And Allah Ta'ala talks about Dawah at the end of the, uh, the last ayat of the surah. Wadakir fa inna dhikra tanfa ul mu'minin. Remind the reminder benefits the believer. Oma khalaqtul jinna wal insa illa li yabudun. I did, not I did not create man nor mankind nor jinn except to worship me. Ma uridu minhum I don't want them to provide for me. Wa ma uridu an yut'imun and I do not want them to feed me. Inna Allah huwa ar-razaq dhu al-quwwati al-matin. Allah is the provider and the most powerful subhanahu wa ta'ala. He don't provide for us. And we should not worry about the provision. Ibn Asalam said in the authentic hadith, Lan tamuta nafsun. There is no soul is going to die. Hatta tastawfi rizqaha wa ajalaha. Until you take complete rizq, provision of yours, without any deduction. And the, and the lifespan that Allah has created, for, has planned for you. No extra day, no less than that. Time. And why do we worry about the risk? And we panic. And we said, oh, you know, the situation is getting worse. Oh, what, 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 about, what, what about the children? Oh, I'm some of the people say, oh, I cannot have more than two children because I cannot provide for them. Who told you you can provide them for this too? Who gave you guarantee? Allah wa razaq. Allah is saying to, to all of us, لا تقتلوا أولادكم خشية إملاق. Do not kill your children out of fear of poorness. Do not kill them. نحن نرزقكم وإياهم. نحن نرزقهم وإياكم. He is the provider, Subhanahu wa Taala. Oh, you know, you should have sensibly the ideal family. What's that? What's that? Dean family man, husband and wife. Even now, uh, I don't know. But we said the way it used to be: husband and wife, and son and daughter. Ideal family. But your Prophet Sallam is saying, "Tazawwajul walud al wadud." Marry the loving woman who loves their husbands. And who can give more children? More children. For inni mubahim bukum al umma ma yom al qiyama. I'll be proud of you when my umma comes. And the riwaya for inni mukathirum bukum mukathirum bukum al umma ma yom al qiyama. And it's both authentic. I'll be proud of you that my umma is the biggest umma. 
the biggest nation. Then increase and don't worry, Allah is provide for them. Allah provides for them. And take the right steps. Educate them. Save them. Be in the light of from the hellfire. That's your duty. Give them the right injections, the tawheed, the understanding. That's what we need. That's the da'wah. That's why we should have a lesson in our own houses. We should not only wait for Sheikh Muhammad. No. We should have also our own plan. Yes, we benefit from him, inshallah wa ta'ala. We try to come to the lectures. We try to come to the conferences. The effort that the, 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 the brothers in the message they're doing for you, alhamdulillah, you benefit from that. But also you have your own halaqa in your home. Sit with your children, with your wife. If your children are teenagers, let them plan. Let them prepare the lesson. Give them a task. Ahmed, today is yours. You are, going, you, you are going to give this week. Go to the library. And mashallah, now the library is here. It's not like our, our olden days. Those who are above 50 like me. Now he can plan it. Just go to the... Check the... Ask Sheikh Google. Check the... Uh, lessons get the benefit put it together and bring it for the lecture of the family today my brothers we need to reflect on the quran the last testament read the quran the last testament reflect on the quran the last testament make a plan for your life with the last testament try to learn even one ayah every day even one ayah every day you will find yourself you have learned a lot of the quran we are happy to work for eight hours and sometimes more especially the uber brothers eh -eh. don't get close you'll get banned if you get close to them Sometimes 12 hours, bang, collecting the pound. And the other people, over time. But with, with the Quran, do not let one day passes without you opening Allah's book. Do not let one day passes without opening Allah's book. May Allah guide us all. May Allah protect us all. I did not prepare it for you. The Sheikh just uh, grabbed me from my neck and then me go and, and do it. Jazakumullahu khayran. May Allah ta'ala bless him. My lovely son. Jazakumullahu khayran. And may Allah bless you all. And inshallah, we did our best. And may Allah ta'ala accept it. If, if he said anything wrong, it's from us and shaitan. And if he said anything good, that's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa akhir da'wan. Alhamdulillah. Rabbi alayhi wa sallam. Jazakumullahu khayran.